Peace, peace, family. So I'm back with another one. You know what I'm saying? So today what I wanted to do was wanted to talk about STDs, sexually transmitted demons. You know what I'm saying? As y'all could tell, I like to flip my sauce over here on this channel. You know what I'm saying? I, I try not to stay in the same formula that the... Uh, that the rest of my other chosen counterparts are doing so that way we can all touch different angles and bases. You know what I'm saying? But sexually transmitted demons, you know what I'm saying, is a real thing. Doesn't matter if you use condoms for protection, females, different types of protections, you know what I'm saying, birth controls. None of that shit fucking matters when you're dealing with sexually transmitted demons. What brought me to this topic today was, um, as y'all know, I like to use me and my own life experiences. Um, but I was thinking about a past experience I had a while back, while, while ago. And I was just thinking about how this person was like... They was working to become a tattoo artist, right? They was pretty good at drawing. They had a pretty steady hand when it came to doing all of these arts and crafts where they had to use their hands. But the person had showed me one day that it was kind of hard for them to sit their hand out like this without it shaking nerves being really bad really bad and i always and this person always had like some witchy shit with them already anyways right so i'm still fucking I, i'm dealing with the motherfucker after we had discussed this and i'm like such an intuitive highly hypersensitive being that after i had my encounter with this being and we discussed that shit it was like for the next week or two i would say my fucking nerves was bad and i don't ever have shaky nerves i don't ever have like shaky hands like i can i'm pretty good at keeping myself stable and under control but it was like it was throwing me off because it's like anytime somebody has something going on with them i my being my vessel and i'm pretty sure the chosen ones tend to fucking take that shit on i don't know i haven't quite figured out the avenue as in to you know how that comes about i'm still working and deep diving on that part but i always notice this shit always happens but that made me think of these sexually transmitted demons and this was all part of like my ascension process so when i kind of experienced that shit and i had stopped dealing with the person and it was like that shit was still sitting on me I know what the fuck it was just still sitting on me. I would get up to try to like work in the computer like my fucking hands is like I'm trying to do stuff and my like what the fuck is going on? I'm like trying to shake it off. I'm like, damn, is it because I'm thinking about that shit or because we discussed it? But then I realized that shit got passed to me. It's a lot more happening when we are in the space and creating that Pandora's box. You know what I'm saying? And for me it took like once i started sending everything started coming to light it was no ducking and dodging or avoiding it was to the point to even like this person was before the last person i was dealing with and i haven't really been in the mix with anybody since then but it's like the other being was also on some witchy shit too this was all still a while ago you know what i'm saying none of this is like current or recent um and it was like they would be doing shit with other witchy motherfuckers not around me which is you can do whatever the fuck you want to do when you're not around me but you have to make sure that you are dealing with people who are operating with the creator not these demons because they're passing all of this shit right on to us i can name numerous of situations where i was tr like growing through my process but you know how it is out here in this western world for some reason they fucking sexualize everything first you know what i'm saying so from the movies you watch it's, it's very seldom you're gonna watch a one movie without a sex scene in there 
without some kind of kissing. You know what I'm saying? It used to be all heterosexual. Now they put their witchy sauce on it. You know what I'm saying? So even watching them shits, you know, it, it's always something that kind of wants to put you in that mode or that mood, even when you're not trying to be in that mode or that mood. And that's like a battle within itself that we constantly have to fight and deal with. You know what I'm saying? And especially for a lot of us older ones who already have been sexually active. You know what I'm saying? For our younger ones that haven't been, the best protection is no sex. You know what I'm saying? Fuck all the condoms and all that birth control shit. You know what I'm saying? Because then you still have to worry about the spiritual aspect. Anytime we open ourselves to other beings in that manner, it's a whole Pandora's box being opened up. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what the fuck you're going to get. It's like going to the store and you get one of them fucking mystery earheads or dumb, dumb lollipops. You know what I'm saying? You don't even know what fucking flavor it is. You know, you just know you're about to get it. Like, oh, let me see what this is. You know what I'm saying? I like the mystery ones. But these demons, these people be intentionally doing these things and passing these things over to you. You know what I'm saying? And they and they constantly trying to open up other portals. And I feel like a lot of this shit is extremely important because we all grown and we all adults. And the ones that aren't adults, we have to start having these conversations with the younger generation. You know what I'm saying? A, a lot of females like to say, oh, I like to wear what I want to wear. But for men, you can wear what you want to wear. But in today's society... You're kind of forcing sex on men's mind, even though when we interact with females, that kind of crosses our brain. But when I leave my house after I'm getting up, showering and doing some work and then I get out to go do some more work or hit the store or something. First thing I have to run into is women wearing whatever the fuck they want to wear. So me as a heterosexual male, now I have to be self-aware. And you know what I have to do in this process? I have to practice controlling my fucking eyes. We have to control and manage our whole fucking body and vessel. Shit is weird. This shit is annoying, but it keeps you, like I said in the last video, living like a diabetic. You know what I'm saying? You are constantly motherfucking self-aware. It's, it's like putting yourself in the mix with this shit, and then you end up with something that you wasn't expecting. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not talking about no fucking, you know, bringing another life form in here or... One of their diseases that will, you know, flow into your body from that shit. But we have to be mindful of the demons. You you still doing it pointlessly or aimlessly for you to get your outcome. But it's still something else that's coming attached with that. You know what I'm saying? So if you're not dealing with healthy beings and people who are like moving with the creator and operating like gods and chosen ones. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be that same vibration. When y'all trying to mix y'all sauce together, it's not going to flow the same. And you're going to end up with some witchy shit behind you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had one motherfucker. I'm very, very fucking straight. You know what I'm saying? But I don't mind putting me out there. I had one female that was so adamant on, like, trying to, like, do something with my butt. And I'm like, yo, I don't even get down like that. Unless you want me to punch you in your face, I would just chill. Those demons do not come near me in that space. You know what I'm saying? And, and that correlated with the other thing. And I just kept thinking to myself, like, yo, I, you already know I don't even get down like that. I don't play. I don't dance. I don't do none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like for you to keep trying to to insinuate or to push or to try this weird shit, bitch. No, these demons, I've already been doing this too long. You will not have these other demons creating more portals and doing what they have to do. You know what I'm saying? So. That also comes with being able to say no when you in the process. You have to be able to say no when you in the process. If you ain't done something before and that shit don't feel right and it's not comfortable, don't fucking do it. Move yourself for the situation or say fucking no. Say no. Trust me, I have looked this way my whole life. 
thanks to my sperm donor and my mother. I had nothing to do with these looks. All I had to do was maintain it. And I say that to say, like, I never had a problem getting females, so I done dealt with a lot of females. But when I come across those weird witchy ones that then dealt with other boys or males that like they shit played with or like to do all that weird witchy shit, you will not create that portal here with me. You know what I'm saying? That handshakey shit. I'm aware we have to stop allowing these people this much fucking access to us because now it's like a whole fucking portal for not just them to access us, but for them to send us all kind of shit. We already at war 24 seven out here. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I had no problem removing myself, cutting motherfuckers off. Like I be in a space now to where it's like. I am so isolated to where I had to find myself fighting my own uh, 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 spiritually transmitted demons with the fucking pornography. Because, and just being real, the pornography was a transition from these demonic ass females out here doing this witchy shit. So it's like one transition from here to here, but then you also have to remove this too because this shit isn't healthy. That shit was a compensation for all these sexual demons that motherfuckers was trying to pass in in order to battle and to beat that shit you have to stop it you have to stop allowing these portals to be open you have to stop allowing this access to you you know what i'm saying and, and i know a lot of us don't even like talking about these taboo ass motherfucking topics or or putting themselves out there but anything that's on social media is public for the world and i already known that my entire life because i didn't grow up with cell phones and all of this shit right here you know what i'm saying all this shit is new i wasn't even into technology at that time but i understood that this is part of the shift as well too the technology isn't bad that's like saying the gun isn't bad it's the person with the gun don't matter how motherfucking fly a nigga look. That nigga witchy, he gonna send you some witchy ass shit and have your ass all fucked up in a space to where you doing cuckoo crazy shit now. You know what I'm saying? Shit that you wasn't even doing before either it's with him or it's some gang stalking, studying background, doing all that weird witchy shit to kind of fucking get control of this motherfucker. And, and fellas, it's the same thing on the opposite side with these women. We already know they are hardwired emotion first, then logic. You know what I'm saying? We're more logic first than emotion. But we're both supposed to be mastering that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, have the hard discussions. You know what I'm saying? It's strength and power in making yourself vulnerable. You don't have to keep having the same regular as conversations and topics and talks. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what we here to do. You know what I'm saying? So, we're going to stop allowing these sexually transmitted demons to make their way into our space we have to get stronger spiritually all right yes we were all fucking sexualized or we started at a young age and now it's like okay we understand these things and now we are starting to retract practicing semen retention and all these other things that kind of help with your sacral chakra that's some of your strongest most potent fucking energy that's why boxers before matches before they have like these these big fights they have to not have no outlet. You know what I'm saying? It's it's none of that going on because that is that is also part of their kundalini energy. You know what I'm saying? All your chakras. That's a big part of all of it. You know what I'm saying? If you if you take the time to dive in and see how much better you can operate, and I don't want to say how much better, how much stronger. You're going to feel thinking and diving into different places when you're not functioning off of that energy down there. Your sacral chakra are constantly having your mind and your spirit in that space. You know what I'm saying? We still got social media. You still going to be seeing niggas out here doing what they do. You still going to see fem females out here doing what they do. So we have to learn how to also control these eyes right here as well. You know what I'm saying? If you see something over there, that's what I do sometimes. Sometimes what I do for practice is if I leave out the house and I see something, because I'm on campus basically, so it's always fucking GMO females around. So if I pull out my house and I see something, I tell myself, don't look, don't look. I keep driving, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look. If I have to take an extra turn, 
to look out this window so I'm not looking out that window. I'll do that because I have to practice self-awareness at controlling my vessel. So that means even these two eyes count. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't want to run it up too long. You know what I'm saying? Y'all tap into everything down below. We going to stay at this consistently. You know what I'm saying? Peace and love to the kings and queens. Thank you.